Today we're gonna learn game setup, how turns work, and how to play a card. Osha! What is up, Joe Crew? It is me, Joku DMD, and you are here for part two of the Learn How to Play the Dragon Ball Super Card Game tutorial series. Today, we're going to learn game setup, how turns work, and how to play a card. This is your deck. A deck can be 50 to 60 cards. At the beginning of the game, you shuffle your deck. Anytime you shuffle your deck, you offer your opponent an opportunity to cut your deck. After your opponent cuts or doesn't cut your deck, then you each roll two six sided dice. Whoever rolls high will go first. So I just rolled an eight and a nine. Whoever would have rolled the nine would go first. You can't pick if you want to go first or second. Whoever gets the higher number on the dice goes first. After that, you take six cards off the top of your deck and you look at those six cards. Out of these six cards, you can keep any number of them and then the rest of the cards you send back to your deck. This would be closed hand so you wouldn't, your opponent wouldn't see any of these cards. And then the rest of the cards, other than what you keep, you can send back to your deck for your first mulligan. Your mulligan happens before you set your life and after you draw your first hand. So you send whatever number you want back to your deck, reshuffle your deck, present it to your opponent to cut, after they cut, then you draw your hand back to six. So in this instance, I would draw four because I sent four back. After you have your hand drawn, you take eight cards from the top of your deck and you set them in your life area. Once your life is set, you're ready to begin the game. So the different areas of play, you have your leader area, you have your deck area, you have your life area. This is where energy goes. This is where battle cards and unison cards are played. And this is the combo area. Down here is your drop area and somewhere around here is your warp, depending on where you like to play it. If I were to have won that dice roll, since I'm going first, I can choose a card in my hand and put it in my energy area. Energies come in in active mode, unless they are a multicolor and say energy exhaust, the turn you play them, they have to be charged in rest mode. But this is an active mode this energy is charged since I'm the turn player I cannot attack and if I had a one energy card I could play it but I don't have anything to play so I would pass turn here if the if roles were reversed and I was the second player on the second turn you can draw a card and choose a card in your hand and put it in your energy area and then you can attack so I would attack with my leader which would allow me to draw and we'll go over that in the battle video so a turn has two parts there's the charge phase and the main phase Say I were about to start my turn three. At the beginning of my turn, the first thing I would do is I would charge. I would switch all my cards back to active mode. Then I would choose a card in my hand and put it in my energy area. Once the card is in my energy area, my charge phase is over and now I can begin my main phase. During the main phase, I can do things in whatever order of operations that I want. I can play a card from my hand for an energy cost. I can activate skills on other cards. I can attack with cards and resolve the autos on those cards as I attack and I can choose to attack with a card or I can choose to play a card and then attack with cards in whatever order I want to attack with cards. In terms of the attacking, we'll go over that in the battle step video. So if this were the beginning of my third turn, the first thing I would do is untap all of my cards and then I draw a card and then I choose a card in my hand and put it in my energy area. Once that card is in my energy area, I can do things in whatever order of operations I want. I can play a card from my hand by paying its energy cost this card has an energy cost of two and there's one blue and one yellow required to play it. So in my energy, I have one yellow and blue. This counts as the yellow and I have one blue that's going to count as the blue. So I can pay those two energy, turn them sideways and play the card and then resolve any skills on the card when I play that card. But we will get into that in the skills 101. In order to play cards, you can either pay the energy cost in the corner of the card. This is four and two of the energy would have to be blue because the specified cost is two blue. Or you can resolve skills on the cards to play the cards more easily, but those require specific kinds of setup, which we'll get into in the skills 101. In the Dragon Ball Super card game, you can do things in whatever order of operations that you want. Play a card, you can then resolve skills on other cards in play if, if you're able to. You can attack with cards and resolve the skills while you attack with the cards. And then if you wanted to, you could attack with either of these cards or you could play another card and then attack with the card that you played and resolve the skills on the cards that you played. Or you can play another card and then attack with the other cards. And at the end of your turn, you resolve any end of turn skills. But there's no order of operations in which you have to play cards and attack. However, 
the order in which you choose to do things may benefit you in your ability to achieve your game plan most effectively. In the Dragon Ball Super card game, there's no particular order of operations in which you have to do things in terms of playing cards and attacking with cards. You can play cards and attack with cards in whatever order that you want as long as you're in your main phase. Once you go into battle, the battle sequence has to take place and we'll go over that in the next video. But in your main phase, you can either play a card, attack with a card, resolve skills on cards, activate extra cards, activate main, anytime during your main phase. You can awaken, you can resolve skills on cards, but once you're out of things to do, or once you wanna save the rest of your energy for defense and you don't wanna resolve any more skills, or attack or do anything else for your turn, you just say pass turn and the turn goes to the next player and then their turn begins. Let's get a little yo, let's get a little yo shop in this beep.